Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Preston's Eight Legs. Uh, today I'm going to be doing like an overview of my new tarantula area. So first off I have this new desk. <laughs> it's got these fancy LED lights in it. And this is my new filming area which is a lot nicer than where I was before. So that's yeah, going to be my new filming area. I really like it. I got some camera equipment down there. It has some shelves so I can actually keep some stuff on there now. And have a little bit more of a working area. And then this is the major improvement here. I have this is my new tarantula area this is where i keep all my enclosures now and all the feeders and any supplies that i have so uh just got these shells from sam's club they are the white metal wire shelves that are nice and sturdy and i got these mats on top of them so it makes it look all nice and i think the uh, enclosures really pop out so i really like that a lot so i have down here all my my supply bin where i keep my substrate my spagma moss, anything I use to put in my enclosures and maintain them. That's why I keep that at. Up here, I have my feeders. I have my mealworms, dubia roaches, crickets. I have my water. Uh, the reason why my water is actually in a bag is because about two weeks ago, I had a mite outbreak. It's not anything bad. They're not dangerous. They're not harmful or anything. But um, the reason why is because I had the food source and I had the water all right by each other. So I decided to seal up the water. That way, hopefully, I don't get any mites back. So and then I keep my tools here. Keep some tarantula crib boxes over there with my tarantula cat stuffed animals that I got from her. And then these are the enclosures. This one, I got to block out a little bit because that one's an upcoming video. But here is Julio. He is my Bronchi Pomohomori. He is the Mexican red leg. I'm not really sure, but it's Mexican red something, I think. <laughs> so that's his enclosure. He is, uh, I've had him for over a year now, but he's still pretty tiny. So he's, he's grown slowly, but I like him. He has a lot of personality. So there's Julio. This is Roman. This is his enclosure. This is one of the, uh, rehousing I just did and let's see if I can find out that there he is so there's Roman kind of hiding out in the back there and you guys can tell from the video a couple weeks ago uh, he definitely did some uh, excavating in here he uh, really did a number on the dirt here made his some made some more tunnels here and Rearranged the dirt, rearranged the plants even a little bit, so that's cool. I'm ha I'm glad he likes it. And I'm ha I'm glad he's happy with it, and I'm glad he's you know doing a whole bunch of stuff with it. Here is my Rocky Palma Amelia, cinnamon, and I've had her for well, I, I shouldn't say her because I'm pretty sure it's actually a male, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. But I've had them for about a year now as well, and they've been in here. They've been big, but they haven't really grown too much too fast, but. They've been growing. Let me see if I can turn this here. Oh, there she is. Or he is. Whatever they are. So, that's them right there. They're kind of skittish, but they're not too bad. They're not too, you know, as soon as I move it, they're scared or anything. But, obviously, me moving the enclosure doesn't necessarily give them an easy feeling. So, put that back. And then here is Silk. This is the other rehousing I just did the other day. And let me see where she's at. Oh, there she is. So, got her right there. Yep, there she is. And you guys can tell as well, she did some excavating as well, just like Roman. So, she has a little tunnel there. She dug a lot in the hole that I made for her. She even rearranged the leaves again. So, I'm glad they like it. I'm glad they're making it their own. So, that makes me happy. Um, one thing I did forget to put in last week's video is... Uh, the, I shouldn't even say week because I may upload this sooner than I have intended. So, the last video I did where I went over all the supplies that I keep. Um, this is the thermometer that I keep. It actually is... Um, I think it's called hydrometer and thermometer. It tells me the temperature of my room, the humidity of my room. That way it makes it a lot easier for me to keep control of what my spiders enclosures might be at that way because if i know that's 50 percent in here i know that the enclosures are at least 50 percent if not higher that way when i spray them it can go up higher and in that way i know that's 78 degrees in here so it's a good temperature for them and then here 
is curly, my T. alopelosus, my curly hair tarantula. Let me see if you guys can see him right there. <laughs> He's a big excavator. He actually just, he had a whole bunch of dirt up here and then he just tore it down like the other day. And then he digs these little corner holes here. So I'm not really sure exactly what he's planning on doing, but he has his own little thing in mind. So I'm happy. And then here is tie-dye, my chromatopelma cyanopubescence. I think I said that right. <laughs> my uh, green bottle blue. Um, they actually just molted two days ago. So I'm excited. They're bigger. They really have the enclosure webbed up. So that I, I'm really happy with them. Um, I'm looking forward to rehousing them one day. That way I can get them an even bigger enclosure um, when, when the size is needed. And also getting some more color in there with the uh, leaves and stuff. But I'm happy with how well they've webbed up the enclosure and how well they uh, made their own. So I'm happy about that. So that's basically all my tarantulas that I have right now. I don't want to talk about this one yet because that's its own separate video. But I guess I'll show you guys real quick. It is another enclosure you can see up there. It's a uh, jumping spider. So that video is coming next uh, where I housed my uh, jumping spider there, my Phytobus regius. Um, I still haven't decided 100% on a name yet. My uh, my dad actually came up with the name Jacqueline. Um, and it, it's pretty fitting. Uh, maybe when you guys see the video, you guys can uh, agree or not. And uh, if not, just drop a name and let me uh, decide which one I think I should name her. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I know this is a shorter video than what I've been doing. I know I've been like doing 20-minute long videos, almost 30-minute long videos. But just wanted to give you guys an update on what my new setup is for the tarantulas and the spiders in my filming area. Um, I do plan on, since I have a lot more shells here and a lot more room, I do plan on getting a lot more tarantulas now. And even tarantulas, uh, spiders, scorpions, a whole bunch of different types of inverts and other animals so have that to look forward to and look forward to showing you guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like bye